Oh. Apparently I've put on two kilos in a few minutes. Oh good. All I've had is a coffee. Oh, and I put clothes on. So that would be it. Hello. So today I asked you guys if you wanted me to and you all said yes. So I'm vlogging my day. I um, am off to the... What? 106. Brandon's lost tons of weight. Tons. Anyway, so I'm off to my exercise physiologist appointment and my second dietitian appointment. I'm pretty excited. I think I've got pretty good... <coughs> what was that? <coughs> if I don't die in the process, Jesus. Um, I think I've got some pretty good... News to tell my um, dietitian because I'm down to, as you saw just then, like 115 kilos. But when I weighed myself this morning, it was like 113 and something. But I've had a coffee this morning and put clothes on, so maybe that's it. I don't know. Maybe the scales are wrong. I could be completely wrong, and then I'll go to the dietitian and I would have put on 10 kilos or something. Why do I look so different on camera? Like when I look at this in person, I think I look okay, but then I look in the camera and it's like, yo, you're a fucking fat cunt. I don't know, maybe the camera does put like 10 kilos on you or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so my first appointment is the exercise physiologist and that is in... Well, it's five past nine now, and I've got to be there at 9.30, so I should probably get fucking going. Uh, don't mind this. Uh, fucking herpes. Um, Dexter's just dying downstairs. I don't know what the fuck happened, but he must be in trouble for something. And I'm going to go, and I'll probably see you after my appointment with the exercise physiologist, because I don't think I'll film while I'm in there. I always feel really awkward asking if I can film. Well, actually, I've never done it, but I feel awkward thinking about asking it. <laughs> anyway, I will see you then. Okay, so um, I have now done my exercise physiologist appointment. Uh, my next appointment doesn't start for like half an hour <laughs> so I'm gonna go and have a look in Priceline Pharmacy for a bit it's a bad idea but I'm really early so I don't know what to do sorry if I'm like acting a little bit weird but I'm like in a public like very public um, car park right now and <laughs> people are walking past going what the f fuck is she doing? She's sitting there talking to herself. Anyway, I don't care. Fuck y'all. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck y'all. Yeah. According to my exercise physiologist's appointment, he gave me a few sheets of exercises to do, um, which was is going to be handy and challenging. So he's got uh, pre-op exercises and post-op exercises. Um... They all seem pretty easy. I'll have to get Brendan to make sure he gets me to do them. Because the, the eating part, I think I've got that down pat. It's the exercise part that I need a lot of help with. Because I really don't know how to do it properly. Like, I've never actually been shown, like, how to exercise properly. And this guy just, like, literally gave me a sheet of paper to follow. He didn't, like, actually show me what what to do. Anyway, we'll see how we go. I know that when I'm editing this later, I'm going to be like, Cheyenne, speak faster, you fucking dickhead. Does anyone else get like that? If you do videos and then you edit them and you're like, oh my god, you're taking so long to talk. It's because I'm nervous. I'm right outside a fucking bakery and everything looks so delicious. Oh my god. So my current weight at the moment is 115.1 for those of you who have been asking about my smoking situation I have not had any cigarettes at all I've totally gone cold turkey and it's the best way to do it you don't have to rely on like things 
to like suppress your need for a cigarette. You just don't have one. I know that's easier said than done, but I guess because I'm like cutting out food and stuff and everything, like my mindset is like, you just can't have it, Cheyenne. Just don't have it. You can't. Like, so I think it's helped a lot. So that's where I'm at with that. So I'm smoke free. I haven't really been paying attention for how long I've been smoke free for. I mean, today's date is the 7th of February and I haven't had a cigarette since Christmas. So you do the math. What are you doing? You're picking your nose. A poo! <laughs> <laughs> I turn the music off. You can watch play school when I've finished doing this. So I am back at home and I've done a few things since coming home. Uh, I got a phone call because I'm trying to switch health funds. I know it's stupid to try and do that this friggin close to a surgery date. But the reason being is because apparently my current health fund didn't have like an agreement with my surgeon, which they could have told me a year ago, to be honest. Um, but anyway, um, I found someone who can like escalate my switch over to Medibank. And so I'm going to have been on the phone to my old provider about it um, and they are hopefully transferring everything today just in time I am cutting it so thin but whew, luckily I've um, already served all my waiting periods and stuff so that all transfers over and this fund definitely is covered I mean my um, surgery place definitely covers them I don't know you know I can use this health fund. So, um, yeah, if you want to get uh, surgery, make sure you check that your health fund actually has an agreement with your surgeon. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I have to pay a certain amount just to bring me up to date. And then, yeah, that's good. So that's good. Um, I came back home, obviously, from the dietitian, and she is over the moon excited about well, not over the moon, but she's like really happy with my progress, apparently. Since being at the exercise physiologist and half an hour later, um, I had lost like 700 grams or something. Not sure how that works. I think it's just a different scales and stuff. So according to my dietitian scales, I'm 114.4. So that was a nice little surprise for me and she was extremely happy about that and that brings me to like a total of like 9.4 kilos I think it was or something like that. I don't know. Um, maths. <laughs> we all know how good I am at it. So um, I've been given like a pretty good eating plan for post-surgery and I have to like prep a whole bunch of meals and stuff. And yeah, um, now I've taken Brendan to work and it's just me and Dex hanging out. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh oh. Uh oh. You say, poo. Poo. <laughs> So on today's menu for Dexter's lunch is some carrot, zucchini and kale that I've just um, buzzed with this thing and made nice and fresh for him and I'm going to have this leftover because it's my lunch time too um, and I get like half of what he gets and it's quite yummy if I do say so myself and he's pretty hungry so it's just a bit hot at the moment for him, so I'm just waiting for it to cool down and then he can have a nom. You excited? Yummy. It's a bit hot though. Get your drink. Let's go. Come on in your high chair. Dex, go to your high chair. Come on. Look. Let's go.
Yum. Mm-mm. You like that, do you? Not your bee born. You do it. You be oh! You fall, are you? <laughs> oh gone. Look, it's all finished. Well done. Alright, you can play with that. I'll clean it up later. I forgot to mention before that see this ugly thing here on my lip. Apparently, um, a few people have been denied surgery because they've had like scar, um, like wounds or scratches or scabs, and this cold. So I'm like doing everything I can to get rid of this cold sore. So I've got lysine, which is really good to take. It's a vitamin. You take that to try and um, reduce the cold sore quicker. Like I don't know, it must dry it out or something. I also got some cold sore paint and that's what this orangey tinge is on my lip and I upstairs in the bathroom have got cold sore cream as well. Oh god I really hope this fucking works because imagine going through all of this with the um, health insurance and doing this diet and <sighs> all this shit for the, it to be cancelled because of a fucking cold sore. Like, that would actually, I, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be pretty fucking pissed off. But, anyway, we'll deal with that when it comes. We'll see how fast I can get rid of this thing. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then please give me a thumbs up. If you um, would like to subscribe to see more videos from me, then please hit the subscribe button. There will be one on the screen there. There's also a link to getting my merch, so please give that a click. And I love you guys so much. See ya!